Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Victor's Piano Solo, that theme that goes in it. I'll give you a preview of what you can learn in today's lesson. It goes like this, check it out. It, okay, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna learn it like it's like the particular voicing that I did. Okay, even for the left hand patterns and everything. Okay, so here we go. So first of all, we're gonna break it up to parts so it's easier to learn. We're gonna break it up. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven parts. All right. So here we go. So here we go. The first part starts on the G sharp here, middle C is here for reference, we'll go up to the G sharp on the right hand, so it goes G sharp, and then another G sharp, and another G sharp, and another G sharp, like that. That's the first part. So pretty simple stuff, there are one, two, three, four G sharps at the start, they like this. So it goes G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, like that. Okay, so yes, that's that. Anyway, so that's that. Once you get the four G sharps for the right hand, the left hand, we have these notes. I guess the main thing uh, is the left hand pattern. It's kind of like jumpy, but uh, it should be all right. Okay, so first of all, think of it as a C sharp minor chord for this uh, whole left hand first part. So C sharp minor is like a C sharp, E, G sharp, okay? So yeah, it contains these kind of notes in it, okay? It's just like arpeggiated in a particular way. So here we go, the left hand goes C sharp, and this C sharp is okay. Middle C is here for reference. Go an octave to the C. Go down an octave to another C. That's the C sharp where it starts. And then we go to G sharp, up to the C sharp here, up to E, back down to C sharp, and then G sharp, like that. Okay, just like that. One more time. So the six notes for this first part. It goes lower C sharp, up to G sharp, up to C sharp, up to E, down to C sharp, and G sharp. And that's it for the first part. Okay, and the two hands together goes like this. Goes G sharp and C sharp together. So it's together. Then the right comes in, the next G sharp and E together, and then the next G sharp by itself, like that. That's the first part, like this, together, together, like that. Okay, and that's the first part. Once you get this first part, let's now moving on to the second part. The second part right hand continues, it goes G sharp, A, G sharp, G sharp. So only four notes for the right hand here. Pretty simple stuff. So one more time, so it goes G sharp, A, G sharp, G sharp, like that. Okay, that's the right hand. Okay, something awesome happens in this second part for this left hand because the left hand pattern is actually exactly the same as what we just did in the first part. So we just saved some time. You remember that? That's C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, E, C sharp, G sharp. So that's the pattern you have to remember, okay? So yeah, remember that. Exactly the same six notes as the first part for the left hand, okay? Two hands together for this second part goes like this. Once again, G sharp and C sharp together. And then A by itself. G sharp and E together, and then finish on the right hand, G sharp by itself, like that. And that's the second part. One more time, so it's together, together, like that. And that is the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this, check it out. Like that, sounds awesome already. Let's move on to the third part. Third part right hand continues up to the B. And then another B, another B, A, like that. Four notes once again, okay? So it's B, 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 A. Okay, so three Bs and an A. Simple stuff. For the right hand, left hand, we change here for the left hand. We go down to the B, up to F sharp, up to the higher B, and then up to the higher F sharp, down to D sharp, down to B. Okay, so this left hand pattern is a bit harder because it's jumpy a little bit more. Okay, so starts on the low B. To F sharp, up to B, up to the F sharp, D sharp, B, like that. Okay, so yeah, there's a few fingerings you can do. You can do this, or you can do. Wait, that was the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So either this, or you can do like. It doesn't really matter because like um, you kind of like blend it in with the pedal as well. Okay, so yes, that's that. Okay, the turn together is the same like pattern. You you probably uh, like realize like it's always placed at the same places, but it's just different notes for these first three parts. Okay, so here we go. So it's together, together, like that. So you can see the 
it's like the placement is the same, but just different notes, okay? So. And that is the third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far would just be play like this. Like that. Okay, moving on. Uh, that was which part? That was the third part, okay. Now moving on to the, uh, let me see, one, two, three, fourth part. I couldn't even count properly. The right hand for the fourth part is really simple. It's only one note, it's only G sharp. And that's it for the right hand. Okay, so just one note, simple stuff. The fourth part, left hand, we have these six notes. Goes starting on the E here, down here, so E, up to B, up to E, up to G sharp, down to E, B, like that. Okay, so yeah, you can, it's a similar pattern to the first part, but this is like an E major tonality, okay? So E, B, E, G sharp, E, B, like that. Okay, yes, okay, so E major tonality, remember that, okay? That's that. Two hands together, simple. First note and the left hand note just goes together and you hold the right hand like this. Together. Like that. Easy fourth part. One more time. Together. And that's it. Okay, back to back. The four parts we've learned so far, which is if you play like this. Check it out. Nice. Okay. So that's that. Moving on to the fifth part, right hand continues, goes uh, same like rhythmic pattern and everything. So F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A, like that. So same rhythm pattern as the first three parts, if you recall. It's just like that four notes kind of pattern on the right hand. So yeah, one more time, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A. And that's the right hand. Left hand, we have, um, okay, the, uh, it's like F sharp minor tonality. Starts on the F sharp, up to C sharp, up to F sharp, up to the C sharp. Down to A, F sharp, like that. And those are the six notes, okay? F sharp, C sharp, up to F sharp, up to C sharp, A, F sharp. And that's the right hand, okay? Once again, uh, the same placement, just like the first three parts, the same way. So like this, together, together, like that. So the same placement, just different notes, okay? So together, together, like that. Just like that. And that is the fifth part. So back to back, the five parts we've learned so far will be played like this, check it out. Like that. Okay, moving on to the sixth part. The sixth part uh, continues like this, right hand goes C sharp, oh no, G sharp, I was just playing C, G sharp, down to E. And that's it, so just two notes, so G sharp and E, that's the right hand. So finally, it changes up a bit again. That's that for the right hand, left hand. Okay, we have these six notes for the left hand. It goes uh, C sharp, G sharp, up to the near middle C sharp here, and then down to the A, up to E, up to the A, like that. Just like that. One more time, it goes C sharp, G sharp, up to C sharp, and more than an octave, down to A, E, A, like that. So like this. The turn together goes like this for this six part. So it goes G sharp and C sharp together. E and A together. So that's the sixth part, okay? One more time. Together, together. And that's that. Okay, before we play it all together, I think we'll just finish off with the seventh part as well. So, uh, yeah, we can just grip it up all together there. Okay, so right hand here, it goes a bit more notes here. So right hand goes E, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, F sharp. And that's the right hand. One more time. So it goes E, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and that's the right hand here. So that's that. Left hand, we have a bit more notes. We have nine notes here to finish off. So it goes like this. So it goes um, F sharp, up to C sharp, up to F sharp, up to A, down to F sharp, C sharp, and then B, F sharp, B. And that's it for the nine notes. One more time, so it goes F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp, uh, F sharp, and then C sharp, and then B, F sharp, B. Okay, one more time, like this, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and up to A, F sharp, C sharp, and then B, F sharp, B, like that. Okay, two hands together goes like this, so it goes E and F sharp together, F sharp and F sharp together, D sharp and A together, C sharp and C sharp together, F sharp and B together. So more stuff happening here, okay, one more time, so it's together, 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 and that's it, okay. 
Okay, so back to back, let's play it all one more time and we'll just call it and finish it off, okay? So it goes like this, let's get up. That's it. All right, so it's a pretty nice theme. Okay, so I played actually the entire song of this. It's a pretty nice uh, solo. Well, I played not the fully like uh, fully complete one, but I actually played it to the uh, movie, the inside the actual movie. Uh, it's like play like that. It ends abruptly. That's the part where I end there as well. Okay, so pretty awesome stuff. Pretty awesome song. So check out my cover I've done for it. Yeah, it's nice stuff. But anyway, as for now, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Check, uh, like go ahead and play it for yourself. If you like these step by step tutorials, I have so many of them. I literally have thousands and thousands and thousands of piano videos on my channel for you to enjoy and learn from. Anyway, also check out my website if you want to learn more piano from me. So it's bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below where you can learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music and a lot of other stuff. Music theory, all these other stuff. Okay, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.